Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing good. How are you all? I'm planting some tomatoes that I got half price in Sainsbury's. Yes, I am. I think they were five pound a pot, so that was good. And I've also got some other flowerage that I've like got bunny tail and some cornflower. Is that what it's called? I don't know. But um yeah, I'm planting it anyway, and I thought today I'm gonna to try and get some get some bits done that I just really really needed and first things first I'm getting these done because they're just so pretty they're so nice and if they grow that would be a miracle because can I keep anything alive no but well, I want to pre-warn you Whew, I'm on one if you can't tell already I'm on one my kids are spawned from hell the devils that's what they are you won't believe what they've done play fighting in my bedroom one of them rolled off the bed and pulled the curtain down. It's come off the wall. Like, the whole post that is on the wall that the curtain rail holds onto, ripped off. Can't get it back up. I'm fuming. I'm fuming. Honestly, they're not right in the head. I mean, I know I'm not right in the head, but they're not right in the head. What have I spawned into this world? I produce those things. Those things. I love them, really, but I'm just fuming. I'm fuming. Look at this, look. Yeah. Why didn't I think of it sooner? Sand it down. I sanded down that mark. It's come off. Yeah, it's not the same colour all the way along. You know, it's a little bit on the old tinge. There's a little tinge. It's very faint. Very faint tinge of where, you know, not the circle, but a little patch. But yeah, I'm going to put these in the window because they're not supposed to be outside. And um, yeah, see if we get any, any life come from those pots because I'm terrible at growing plants. Like, I can't keep them alive. Um, I think I'm probably drowning them with the amount of water I'm putting in them. But we shall see. We shall see. I mean, it doesn't tell me exactly how much water I'm supposed to put in there. It just says you've got to water them and then you've got to spray them. Anyway, the next day, here we are. I went food shopping and I was about to put all the food away and I looked in the cupboard and I thought, it's filth in here. It's filth. It's goddamn filth. So I put all thing in the fridge. I've done that because obviously you don't want it to get cut, um, get warm and everything in the freezer to defrost and all that. I'm a wreck. I'm a wreck. I'm a shell of a woman. I can't cope anymore. I can't cope. I just want to have a shower. I want to do my hair, put my face on, you know, feel a little bit happy with my life. But am I feeling happy with life? No. No. And uh, me saying that after I've done a food shop, it means business because I'm usually pretty damn happy after I've done a food shop because the supplies are in. Yeah, that's, eh, I'm just not, I'm not happy. So I looked in there and I was like, oh, this looks a bit red, but look at this I've been doing lately because I've got a few of these now. These little window wiper things are brilliant for just getting hold of it all. Look, how cool is that? Yeah, look at all that filth coming out of there. Look at all those biscuit crumbs, sugar, flour, you name it. It's floating around in there. So I put some of this in there. Actually, I've gone off the smell. I don't like it anymore. I don't like it. It's, it's, there's a smell, there's something about that smell. I liked it at first and now I'm like, ah, you're making me feel sick. I don't know if it's because I've got a, um, a sinus infection. I don't know, but that smell, nothing else is making me feel like that. Just this one. I don't like it so i'm sorting out the baskets that are in there and i thought let's have a little look put all the pasta back where it's supposed to be you know roll it all up and shove it on in there see what's going on in each basket and see what needs to come out and um yeah this one this is where we keep all like the spices yeah all the fajita fajita and um it's got spilt sugar in there so i'm trying to get it out with a bit of this spray that I don't like the smell of. But it needs to be used. I'm not wasting it. The smell soon fades away into the abyss. But I'm giving that a quick wipe over so I can put everything back in there. And hope that we don't have any more sugar spillage. But it's going to happen. It's going to happen. I love these. Like, I've got a weird obsession with collecting them. Like, I don't like to use them. When they're in there, I'm like, ah, I like you. I don't want to use you. I could just, like, buy loads of them, like a shop, and have them all in there. And I don't even know why I like having them. Anyway, I'm checking dates on stuff and whatnot before I put it all back in and then I can put all the food shop into the cupboard as well. Um, the OCD coming out in me as I'm putting everything back in there, putting all the tins, making sure that they're in order, facing the right way and um, all is good. Yeah, look, look at that. You can tell I've got teenage boys, pot noodles. Got some cake mix there because the boys want to make Giorgio's variety birthday cake because it's his birthday and um, coming up and also, yeah, just shoving it all in there i 
I can't even put into words right now. I, you know when you just feel like stressed to the max and run down, worn out, drained, and you feel like, what is the point in life? I know what the point of life is, those biscuits there. If anyone tried those Sainsbury shortbread cookies, that is the point of life. They are beautiful. Oh, I can. they're a bit salty, like if you eat too many, but then I do eat a whole pack in one sitting. The entire pack. How many are in there? Three, six, nine. There's either nine or 12. I think it's 12. And I eat them all. All of them. So I'm sat down here and I'm getting all the cereal boxes out and I'm having a look and see what's empty because I don't know about anybody else's kids, but if they finish the box of cereal, they put the empty box back. And when they become teenagers, what they do is they see that there is a bowl full in the bottom of the bag and they go, oh, no, nah, I'm not eating that. Like they won't have anything from like the last of. And I don't understand it. If it's the last of the milk, no, no, I won't have it. Last of the orange juice, no. Last of the cereal, no. Last biscuits in the packet, no. Why? What is it about the last of it that just makes it so unappealing that they just don't eat it? And I have to be like, secretly hide it into the next packet. It's so weird. It's so weird. But anyway, here we go. Going into the fridge now, having a look. Here's some sour cream in there that's been opened and left, left to its own sour cream devices. And I'm putting everything back in here. This needs to have a proper clean out, but it's too late because I've already got it all in there and I'm not doing it now. I've got so much going on. My kids are running wild. They're feral, feral little rodents. And um, yeah, yeah, get all that recycling out. Love it, I do. Oh, I love chucking stuff in the bin. Like I've got something wrong with me. That The things I enjoy in life are very strange. You know, some women like going, do you know what? I haven't had my nails done in a couple of weeks. Got to go and get my nails done. Oh, I haven't had my hair done. Or I need my lashes done. They go for a pamper. Or they go clothes shopping. I'm not like that. I used to be like that. I'm not like it anymore. Now I'm like, I love putting things in recycling bins. <laughs> oh my God, my life. I like a tidy toilet. I like to have a nice clean toilet seat to sit on. And I get satisfaction out of sucking up the house in my hoover. I do. It's just not right, is it, when this is this is what's become of life. This is It's not normal. This table's going. I'm getting rid of it. I was thinking about doing a boot fair and taking it with me and selling it for like a tenner. I don't know. It's a really nice, heavy wood, good, solid, proper table. None of that cheap tack you get nowadays, you know? You know when you go to like Argos or something, you look at it and you're like, well, that's a bit cheap, isn't it? It's a bit cheap. It's because it's just plywood crap. And then when you look at the decent, like the oak woods and all that, you know, the good stuff, you're looking at hundreds. It'll cost thousands to do the furniture in my front room i just can't believe it but yeah i um i don't know how i'm going to get rid of it yet i might just list it for free or something on facebook and be like does anybody want this come get it you can have it it's lovely it's perfect but it's, i've got no room for it which is really sad because i do like that but the guinea pigs come first and i'm not having the guinea pigs moved anywhere else because they have a corner of the front room which they absolutely love yes so here i am now putting all the stuff in the dishwasher while my kids run wild wild yes and the funny thing is right come tonight when i've done dinner and we're all relaxing i'm gonna be like ah, oh my little cherubs i love you all love you and i squeeze them smell their head you know when you smell their heads and it's like <sighs> even when they're teenagers you're just like i love you i love you so damn much but throughout the day you're like that why why on god's earth have i pushed these these humans out of my human self so the old, um, what do you call it, is uh, working a treat. It's saving me so much time. It's even quicker than the hoover. So I'm sticking with that from now on. What I'm doing here is I am bagging up all these little soil pods. And I'm putting them into a little carry bag. And what, can you hear my child in the background? Can you hear him? He's mental. Um, yeah, so I'm bagging them all up so I can make myself a little garden basket. Because I'm sick of that basket being in the corner. And... I just don't want it there. I've changed my mind. I changed my mind like the weather. I do. Oh, God, look at the state of me. Look at the state of me. God, I just don't want to shower. I want to dye my hair. I want to get some vibrant colour in there. Not vibrant colours in, like, pinks and all that, like I've done in the past. What am I hearing? Yeah, I want something like a nice, either a rich, chocolatey, blacky brown. Or um, a blue-black yeah, because it gives a nice shine in the sunshine. I like that. 
But um, I'm holding fire at the moment because length is more important to me. But I just want to feel a little bit better about myself. And I'm not feeling that great about myself. It's because I don't make an effort. I'm literally just constantly on the go, ruled by school runs and college and and maintaining the house that I just don't bother with doing anything else. But yeah, I thought I'd make a little garden basket. So all the like seeds and whatnot that we're planting and what we have planted, all the information's in there. This is Alex's um, dinosaur cress little kind of dinosaur garden going on there looks quite nice they've all got one each jensen's got his in his bedroom elliot hasn't done his yet i keep saying it to him i'm like you go do it and he's like oh, yeah i'll do it later they've got magic beans as well yeah i'm just getting rid of that disgusting smelling water that's under the sink collecting oh it reeks like i don't even know how to describe it but you can imagine walking past a foulest smelling drain that's what that water smells like. So I sprayed it out and then I put a bit of so flora in the bottom. I've left it sitting in the bottom so that when the water goes into it, it's going to take the edge off. You need something to take the edge off because it's rancid. Yes. I've been looking at all sorts of things at the moment because I want to do the hallway. The hallway is my next challenge and I want to wallpaper it. And I've never wallpapered in my life. Like never. So I'm really like, I'm really looking forward to that because I don't want paint anymore. I want wallpaper and i want to do a nice natural neutral tones in there and i want to rip up the carpet i can't tell you it's going to be a day of absolute glory when i pull all that carpet up i can't wait but yeah i've been looking at ideas for that and um, i'm really excited about it so yeah stay tuned for that one because that one will be coming but anyway cracking on doing the last little bit i've got soil on the worktop here soil i get it everywhere but at least i clean up my own mess you know, I don't, I don't leave it. I may leave it for like a little bit, but I don't leave it all the time. But there we go. Look at it. Much better. There's my rant. I needed my rant. Thank you so much. If I don't have my rant, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself because I, I have nowhere to rant. I just rant to you. Yes, but it looks better. It's a little bit better. And then come tonight, it'll be a mess again. But that's life. That's life. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next one.